as Rod said, you know, come the stress seasons, the very dry years or the very wet years, mm. that's where you start to notice that the, the vitality of the, of the plants can sustain the um, vicissitudes of weather. You know, whether, when you've got the chemical stuff, they're, they're so dependent on the chemical that any, any extreme in weather puts them under extreme stress. Yeah. So it was 2008, you said it was a very wet year. Yeah. Um, you were able to pull through where a lot of people um, you know, didn't. Yeah. Actually, and that's, that's, a, that's, a, big, that's a really big thing. If you can have a crop when no one else does, that's a huge. Yeah, that's huge. huge. That's and huge. in wool, there was one guy with, in one of these seasonal changes when they had rain after drought, everyone's clip in the district was broken wool. His wasn't. Mm. Yeah. So mm. yeah, these are the these are major um, pluses mm. that come along every now and again. Mm. But as Rod said, you, you don't do it. You expect your costs will be less. They will be about the same. But your output will be more regular and of a higher quality. Mm. Yeah, and therefore you can actually establish stable markets because there's more and more markets out, out there looking for stability in quality yeah. as well as, as production. Mm. So I've got one sort of thing to add to that. With the, with the, in 2008 when we did get that extremely wet season, um, we watched an adjoin, a neighbouring property that had downy mildew and we watched it for three weeks to the point where after three weeks seeing it next door, we did see it arrive in our vineyard. So that we did get down in Mildew, that was three weeks. And three weeks in a, in a vintage could be well, well and truly could it be the time needed to pick the fruit mm. and, and have it off and in, into the fermenting vats. But what it did, when it showed itself in, in our vineyard, it showed itself on this vine and that vine and this vine over here. But with a, when it's been managed with chemicals, the, what happens with downing when it arrives in the vineyard, it actually takes off like wildfire. So what was happening was evident that it was actually, we'd got it, but it wasn't spreading. And, and actually we managed to control it by making a, a compost tea that had a, um, a known species of fungi that actually predated on downy spores. Mm -hmm. And it was really the biodynamic head that sort of made us uh, f somehow work out a way of finding uh, this resource, you know. So um, the thought of um, managing downy mildew with, with a fungi tea uh, it's pretty, you, you just don't have that sort of head on when you sort of know that you can go and buy a drum of Roverall or something that'll sort of nuke, nuke your place for you. Mm. Mm. Mm.